with many unique places right in our backyard. Today we bring you inside the Niagara Falls Company spanning three generations. News 4's Marley Tuskus and photojournalist Allison Stabell take us behind the scenes of Johnny Ryan Beveridge. For nearly 100 years, the Janik family has been bringing some sweetness to Western New York. Whether you like your Johnny Ryan soda in a glass bottle or from the fountain, it's made right in Niagara Falls. A typical day here is really involves everything. You know, we're, we're making the soda. We're, we're bottling it. We're working on the production line. And we handle the design of the product. Um, really, every aspect of it. Thirty-five, three brothers, John, Stephen, and Walter, decided it was time to take their ozonated water business to the next level. My uncle Walt had owned his own Coca-Cola route, and um, so he would go out and peddle Coca-Cola. And uh, you know, as time went on and Coke grew, they started. They wanted to focus on colas, and um, they had dropped their line of uh, flavors which he's seen an opening in the market for that. So already being kind of in a bottling water business, um, they started the Johnny Ryan Company. 11 flavors later, including cherry, cream soda, and even birch beer, the company is now in its third generation, owned by brothers Paul and John Janik. Uh, we spend a lot of time together every day, and it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and. You know what I mean? And we've uh, we, we made it happen. On a typical eight hour day, Johnny Ryan Soda pumps out 2,000 cases. That's 48,000 bottles of soda. And it's all packed in the iconic glass bottle. It's, it's something special and something, you know, for younger kids, they, they love the bottles and, you know, that. And But you, you even go to the older generations, you know, this reminds them of being a kid. This is how soda used to be. They're beautiful painted bottles, which nobody uses anymore because just because they're so expensive. You know, we just spare, we spare no cost in anything that we do. We use all of our old uh, recipes for the Johnny Ryan brand that were, you know, we got a secret file in the back that uh, was left over from our uncles. And, uh, you know, it's just, it just has a lot of history. The company ships the bottles all across the country and even into Canada. But that's not all they're known for. And people, people see the bottles, but I don't know if they really necessarily know that we do the fountain end of it, too. When you order a cola or even a Loganberry from some of your favorite Western New York spots, you might just be drinking Johnny Ryan's soda. It really does make me happy. And, and, and it was funny, even my kids, you know, when they were little, I'd bring them into Anderson's or Mighty Talk, you know, and uh, they'd say, Daddy, there's your soda. Now the brothers are finding other adventures in the soda business with some well-known names. I'm like, hello, this is Gene Simmons, and I'm just like, oh my God. After meeting Gene Simmons at a signing, the brothers began a soda collaboration with the Kiss bassist based off of his trademarked money bag logo. He's just been one of the best business partners. Anything, he goes on chain calls with me, we go to stores. He's so involved, and he said he loves doing it. He loves us and our families. And um, he really enjoys work because we're not yes people, we're just nerds like him. Now with the fourth generation already in house, the Janik brothers are looking forward to what's next for Johnny Ryan Soda. Coke and Pepsi obviously are the big guys. And, but I, I think the bottom line is Coke and Pepsi can never be Johnny Ryan, you know? Uh, you can't buy history, you can't buy neighbors and family and friends and that's kind of what we are. Reporting in Niagara Falls. Murphy Tuskus, News 4. And if you have any ideas where we should go behind the scenes next, please email us at newsroom at wivb.com.